<laughs> All right. <laughs> I know that you must be very, very proud. Um, the leadership at uh, uh, Standard Bank with your new graduates here, moving up the uh, echelons there with these uh, qualifications. Uh, just to say a few words, I'd like to call upon now the uh, head of Group Card and Emerging uh, Payments, Personal and Business Banking at Standard Bank, Lincoln Miley. Honorable, <laughs> Honorable Dean, uh, members of family, uh, the faculty of Hanley, and these special graduates, thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to say a few words on a day like this. My mere presence on this stage is a miracle. At 18 years old, I'd been expelled from school. I was in and out of jail. I was part of a group of very angry young people. I was trying to leave the country. I was in and out of court on trumped up charges. But my father did not want to give up on me. He challenged us to be the future that we wanted to create and challenged us to use education as the most powerful weapon to change only, on, only our lives, but the lives of the people we cared about. And today I stand here as a Henley MBA alumni. And I stand here as a member of the leadership team of Standard Bank who has watched you grow through the years. It is special for me to see so many of you Throughout the day, I have tried my best to behave with decorum, <laughs> but it's been special to see so many of you that I've known for so many years, who have gone through so many things to achieve what you've achieved today. Some of you I met when you were tellers. Some of you were team leaders. Some of you were heads of support. Some of you are already branch managers. I have traveled the length and breadth of this country and been with you in your branches. I've been with you in gazebos when you used to sell. We used to sell at night, we used to sell in the morning, we used to sell on holidays. And we did that together. We had an amazing Chies that built an amazing organization. And today you are graduating at the Hanley Management College a prestigious university. And I want to say to you a huge thank you. And I want you to thank those who supported you to the journey. My father is not here to ever see what happened to me. My father used to say to me, I want you one day to go to the Harvard Business School. And I was like, dude, we want guns. <laughs> Are you telling us about going to Harvard? What's Harvard? But many years on, the same organization that gave you this opportunity gave me an opportunity to go to the Harvard Business School. And when I was chosen by my class to be the class speaker at our AMP graduation, the first African to do so, I could speak about my father and what he had done for me. I want you to pay homage to these people, your parents, your loved one, your children, who've all sacrificed to get you to be here. Can I ask us to give them a huge round of applause? As you know, I would not finish any conversation without any word of advice. You know this, right? So I just want to give you a few words. Some of them you've heard them before, but I will continue to raise them. The first one is, you are now going to be given new titles. You're going to be promoted into new great roles.
please remember, leadership is not a title held. It's a profound influence felt. Let your influence be felt throughout the network. Secondly, our job as leaders is to make others feel better as a result of our presence. And let's make that last in our absence. We must not be those leaders that people fear when they come. People mustn't guess what dress you're wearing today because it's going to be a horrible day. <laughs> Let's create that environment where people look forward to see us. The third thing, in the new jobs that you will find, remember, Standard Bank's announcement about your new job does not give you legitimacy. There's normally an announcement, it will say, ladies and gentlemen, it gives us great pleasure to announce the appointment of Lincoln or Lincoln, depending on school you went to. <laughs> And the staff say, yeah, here comes another one. Trust is earned. Loyalty is earned. Leadership itself is earned. Earn the respect of your staff so that you can lead them to higher uh, achievements. Leadership itself does not stop. It's a daily personal battle against arrogance, against pride, hubris, and ego. As you win that struggle to remain grounded, principled, and humble, remember the next day starts again and you have to remain grounded and humble. Please, in the jobs that you take now, remember the first job of leadership is to love people. Leadership without love is manipulation. If you don't do the people thing, don't be in leadership. And if serving is beneath you, then leadership is beyond you. Your heart is your biggest weapon. Lead from the heart. Inspire your people. Lead from the front with a flag, not behind with a whip. And I want to end off by saying, you come from an amazing organization. This organization has been here for more than 150 years. Some of the pioneers of this organization are here. I met them earlier. Our job and our responsibility is to leave this organization better than how we found it. We saw potential in you. Please see the potential in others. Treat people humanely. Don't belittle others. Make them greater because of you. And when they've done well, celebrate publicly. And when they've not done well, reprimand privately with respect and dignity. And I want to leave you with these words. We have a responsibility not only to make the Standard Bank the best bank to work for, not only the best bank for our clients, we have to contribute to South Africa's success. And I want to think about the inspiration we've got from our Springbok team. I'm very sorry, um, Dean. Um, <laughs> from the Springbok team that obviously beat the English team. <laughs> and I want to leave you with these words that think about what we need to do as South Africans to make this country a better, a better country. South Africa belongs to all who live in it. Let us not exclude anyone. Let us not leave anyone behind. Let us make everyone feel a sense of belonging, a sense of pride, love, and loyalty to this country. Our country's beauty will be enhanced when we share it. Its riches will be preserved when more benefit from them. And our flag will fly even higher when more pay allegiance to it. Sia and the box have shown us the way. We are much more stronger together. Kosi Sigilele Africa. Let's put South Africa first. I thank you. Mm -hmm.